Alright everyone, it is me, Johnson Chan, and boy did I get an excellent night's sleep last night. I actually wound up sleeping for like 9 hours. <laughs> so, uh, it was very good. I also made sure to under eat while also um, exercising yesterday, but also making sure I still had the protein. So, it was, a, it was a very good day yesterday. I'm also recovering from my burnout, so I think I'll be able to, you know, start doing a little commissioning. <clears throat> for my video game and slash entertainment studio. So I go hire the guy that I usually hire for my uh, logo. Now the problem is I still also am looking into trying to hire an additional uh, computer programmer to help us with the cryptocurrency stuff. So, you know, um, so I finally, so Mitch actually did contact me yesterday. So he's still waiting on uh, the fix. So, but he said once he has it, he'll, he'll still be able to pump it out in a week. So, at least that will be taken care of eventually. Assuming his friend of his is trustworthy and is actually working on the fix. I guess it's not a simple uh, typo. Apparently, there's like some huge section missing or something. It's like, like I, I don't understand how like a uh, like everyone forks coins from basically Bitcoin, right? And they all have the help function. So I don't understand how you can just simply remove that somewhere down the line. It just seems just seems like crazy to me. It's like, I mean, I assume there's a med bay in like every single ship, right? Especially an aircraft carrier or a medical ship. And it's just like, oh yeah, we're just gonna remove like the one of the help, or we're just gonna remove the medical bay. It's like, <laughs> what the hell? You know, no, I, I can understand if it's a very small ship, but I mean, you get the idea, right? The big, the big naval ships. So it, that's where uh, that's where I just think just something weird's going on. Uh, also, I don't know what happened yesterday, but in particular, it just seems like nobody was on. So I, I don't know. Um, but apparently, it's affecting Parlor too. But I don't know. We'll have to see. So I didn't do any research at all. I was busy doing other shit. Um, so actually, did this confirm yet? Uh, yes, one. Oh, wow, this took forever to confirm. What the hell? Yeah, hold on a sec. Yeah, I'm looking at my infinite ricks, and yeah, I was sending a very small amount to Crex to sell it, and then, like, yeah, this thing is, like, so slow to update. Is, is there something wrong with my wallet? I don't know. I don't know if I want to do repair wallet, though, on this. All right. Anyway, um, actually, there's another way I can check the check this thing. Actually, hold on. I got because after all, if it sits its money, you know that's, that always has to take priority. Uh, deposit and created. Yeah, it's still showing a zero one twenty five. They're definitely seeing. Okay, so I think everything should be fine. It's probably just a problem with the blockchain, or it's just happens to be slow today. Hmm. Weird. I don't know. I'm gonna have to take a look. All right. Anyway, uh, so Bitcoin searches for this week still at nine, so still pretty lame. Uh, well, how disappointing. But at least it's not going down too much. But Bitcoin now says 62.1 percent. 24 hour volume is very bad at 53 billion, a little more than that. Bitcoin settling in at 93.36. Uh, Litecoin 43.44, so it looks like it's actually keeping their gains from yesterday, so that's good. We still have quite a few months to go. We have a few months to go before the Donald Trump loses the election, so. 405 million market cap for Dogcoin, so they're doing pretty well. Uh, Slack files EU competition complaint against... Gets who? Microsoft. Really? Huh. Stock struggle for direction as U.S. China tensions rise, earnings roll in. Well, I mean, people are just like kind of just nervous right now. So Evans at 4:47. Slack medium will go by now. Trump is totally wrong. So it's our hit piece of Trump. Ackman's blank check company raises for blank check company. At least Yahoo does have the courtesy to mute the audio. It does its stupid autoplay. U.S. government orders 300 million coronavirus. Doses from, I guess, Pfizer. Uh, well, I thought they said we haven't finalized the vaccine yet, but we had a lot of promising candidates. Like, what's going on here? Oh, that reminds me. Shit, I have to go get some groceries and shit today, too, but I'm also receiving packages today, too. It's like, ugh. 
Child has changed forever. Why am I really? Don't miss these now. The uh, fear of jumbo market debacle is here thanks to coronavirus and ready to pound. Uh, let me see. Well, Rebel's doing pretty well, so I don't really care. Uh, I mean, normally I would read it, but eh, I'm kind of in a rush today, too. So, um, Also, the market will tell me, especially Rebel, will tell me if real estate's going up or down. Okay, Or, to a lesser degree, RF, Regents Financial. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> because people can make all sorts of... Um, conjectures, theories, uh, hypotheses, or whatever the hell you want to call it. But at the end of the day, you know, who's just talking dumb shit on YouTube and Twitter and whatever? Who's actually putting their fucking money in, like me, right? See, I can talk shit, because I actually put my money in and out. So, you know. Uh, JFC Coit, 7 to 9, maybe even 10. Uh, so, not much happening here. 404, doing all right. 312 to 323. 2x2 two two is loading uh, slow. All right, so it looks like the uh, Infinite Rex does seem... Okay, so it looks like it was just a simple hiccup in the blockchain in the past 23 minutes. I guess people, too many people were minting, so the difficulty retarget was just waiting. Uh, two by two. So two by two is 46 to 48, so basically upper 40. So it looks like it'll be settling down here for a while. I'm kind of hoping it can at least survive for at least the rest of the year before it's going to need a price reduction in step. Um, Rix is 153 to 154, so it looks like Rix has actually find, found its real price. Uh, nothing new on my Bitcoin channel. Uh, yeah, there just there doesn't seem to be any news today at all. Wait, this, this does look like yesterday's shit. Because it is yesterday's shit. Uh, all eyes on US stocks again. Gold sub, no. Um, well, at least Bitcoin futures are actually uh, higher in open interest for first time since March crash. All right, so people definitely want crypto. At least the smart people do. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I always knew Mark Max Kaiser probably was an F word, so fuck him. Whales are buying three. Oh, okay, I don't care about that. All right. So not really much. I mean, we don't really have much to go by, but I really don't want to really read into this. Uh, wow, Joe Biden is now 23% ahead. Kanye West has dropped back down to two cents. Yeah, I really wish uh, Kanye didn't wait so fucking late to, you know, help out Trump here, but... Uh, Kanye probably tried XRP. Wells are buying three altcoins. It's Bitcoin, Ethereum, Tread, Water, Coin, Crypto Research Report. Um, Bitcoin says this crypto king is coming to an end. Predicts, yeah, whatever. Uh, Treasury unveils plan to clamp down on crypto promotions. Wait, what? Oh, I actually want to read that. Okay, so I, we do have something here. Uh, no, don't care, don't care. Well, another country to eat. Uh, Bitcoin appears ready for extraordinary uh, okay. uh, And that one, we got that from yesterday. All right, wow, look at that. Look how bad this is. This is going to be so bad. Uh, Fires will get worse before it gets better. God, tr Trump is... Yeah, I mean, basically, Trump's at the point where he's more than deserving of losing the fucking uh, election. It's like, what is he doing? Uh, I think we're able to wear a mask. Yeah, it's like... This... Uh, I don't know, the virus... Hey, I wonder if this dumbass realizes that if we defeat the virus, we're still going to have masks and, like, they're just going to keep moving the goalpost. Like, this is just, uh, like, and of course he's just bitching. Oh, God. I guess, uh, yeah. I mean, you're, you're, you're watching in real time as Trump just throws away the fucking election. Ugh, oh, what a fucking idiot. All right. Anyway, uh, UK government has unveiled a plan to clamp down crypto promotions in an effort to protect retail investors. Her Majesty's Treasury, the UK's Government Economic Finance Ministry, says it is currently looking for feedback proposals to regulate crypto promotions, according to the agency. So, okay. Uh, uh, to expose energy to unacceptable levels of risk. 
the blah, blah, blah. So you okay, Kara says, target crypto asset project because they are often inadequate or misleading. Average. So this doesn't sound too bad, actually. I mean, this is kind of like what the FEC or... Oh, what is it? No, FCC or whatever. I don't know. Whatever the hell stupid alphabet uh, equivalent we have in America. Uh, yeah, it's like, yeah, just, just clamping down on just misleading advertisements. Also, for some reason, I just look smaller or leaner. Yeah, maybe, maybe I am burning all the way all the fat on the upper body. Hmm. Okay, so they just want to regulate offering. So, okay, recent study in the UK found striking result that they had the need. Yeah, of course, all these studies are bullshit. Minority 11% believe they're always received regulatory protections. Though a minority extrapolation rate suggests the figures around 300k type people. Yeah, there's not a lot of people doing cryptocurrency. HF Treasury will stop receiving feedback on blah, 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 blah. Yeah, so they're just looking to do, um, yeah, they're, so they're just looking to do, this is actually a really nice logo. But yeah, this is such an ugly looking logo. Uh, yeah, I don't know, who are these people? I don't know, I'll check later. I'm always on the lookout for like Fed posting accounts and shit like that. Uh, also, supposedly they're banning a lot of QAnon accounts, but I never believed in QAnon anyway. I always thought they were all like retarded, making a bullshit. Like, what are they gonna say when Trump gets kicked out in November? Oh, it's all part of the plan. Uh, there's one thing I don't like: it's fucking retards, especially retards who think they're smart and are in denial. Those are the most dangerous idiots. Uh, this is a pretty nice looking thumbnail. Alright, so if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the file button, and oh my god, I, this thing is so bad. File button from wherever you're watching this from, or on my YouTube at youtube.com forward slash JMC Radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page so we can continue growing this channel. I don't know why I still keep putting the bit shoot part first. So, anyway, uh, that for the day was an extremely short video, only 12 minutes, but literally nothing's happening, right? Markets are not going anywhere because people are just like, ah, well, nothing's happening, so we just do nothing, right? So, uh, I mean, maybe I could have read this, but I mean, Beijing on Wednesday condemned the U.S. decision to order the closure of a Chinese consulate in Houston, latest science. Oh, yeah, I didn't read the uh, dissident right website's take on this, but something about intellectual property rights. It's just more dumb bullshit by the shit libs and the globalists to blame China for fucking everything. Um, so, of course, you know, dumbass Trump is going along with it simply because he just doesn't know any better. Uh, but he'll be soon be gone from the election. So, um, and, and that's unfortunate. We're, we're going to have so many problems. Uh, I mean, I might actually just consider just leaving the United States at that point. I mean, not that I'm going to have any problems, but it's like, what, why am I going to stay here then, right? You know, which is funny, right? Because I'm still trying to create an American show, and I have to make it outside of America because censorship is so bad. It's just, it's just so fucking bad. Anyway, I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Nothing uh, is happening, but progress is, at least personal-wise, is going pretty well. I'm still going to try to keep aggressively looking for uh, new opportunities to hire uh, programmers, though. So it'll just be me, Mitch, and this extra programmer. And just like, because I really just thought, why don't I just create a bunch of coins? Keep them all at 150 to 200 percent APR, and then just you know secure our future that way. So that's what that's where uh, that's that's the angle I want to play. So and I did find a really good tutorial on how to compile my own coin. The problem is it's proof of work. So uh, I, I don't know. Uh, Cause but I mean I already know how to code now. At least C sharp, like like an, at an okay level. And when I first started programming 20 years ago, it started with C++, so I'll be able to adapt pretty well, especially since all I have to do uh, is just change the variables around, right? The syntax I can look up on Google, uh, and the principles are the exact same. They are the exact same, if then, declare a state, uh, declare a variable, uh, et cetera, and that's it. So, you know, if this, then, you know, multiply by that for the block reward. So, anyway, uh, I got a lot of shit to do, so I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching, and always remember, Johnson Chan, JFC Coin, which will be swapped soon, uh, once the fix is in. <laughs> the fix is in. 404 Coin, and here's our dinky little uh, thumbnail.